Lord. Master Satil, Executor Kranus and his followers are dead. Belsavis is safe. The galaxy is in your debt once again, but I fear this is far from over. The Emperor would never devote all his resources to Belsavis. We must find his other targets. There is a rumor of high-ranking Sith gathering at a remote Imperial space station, allegedly on the Emperor's orders. One of our best scouts volunteered to investigate. He's disappeared. Sounds like there's truth to this rumor. Tell me everything. Jomar Chul attempted to infiltrate the Imperial Space Station where the Sith are meeting, and hasn't checked in since. I know you and Jomar have had differences, but I believe he's onto something. If the Emperor is involved, this may reveal his plans. This is worth pursuing. I'm transmitting coordinates to the space station. I have no advice for getting inside. Leave that to me. May the Force be with you. This is Station Korriban's flame to unidentified vessel. You have violated Imperial space. Submit your security clearance or be destroyed. You said I could leave this to you. Go ahead. Transmitting clearance code now. Stand by while I... Um... We're so pleased you're here, Grand Moth. You'll find our security airtight. That is unlikely. I've uh, cleared a docking bay for you. Please proceed with your landing, sir. For the moment, they believe I am Graham off fresh. But this ruse will not hold. Prepare to kill everyone. We'll infiltrate the station quietly. By the time the Imperials realize they've been lied to, we'll have what we need. The docking bay will be swarming with honor guards for the Grand Moff. When you emerge from the ship instead, you'll find them... disappointed. Don't waste any time. Destroy the enemy while we have the elements of surprise.
Right on time. You're practically a droid. I knew if I applied the right stimulus, you couldn't resist coming here. Something's wrong with Leha. She's not herself. She tricked me. Jomar was chasing proof you'd fallen to the dark side. He fell into my trap like a greedy child. You were just as easy. The Emperor is dominating your mind. Resist him. Please, don't hurt her! She doesn't know what she's doing! Poor boy. You think you love me. But what we shared in secret on Tython was only a shadow of true passion. They indulged their base desires. Impressive. I'll show you true ecstasy, Jomar. But first things first. I don't want to hurt you. If you care about Jomar, surrender. Surrender is for the weak. Jomar had that option. You don't. You remember the Medes? I gave my little droid friends a few upgrades I think you'll enjoy. Briefly. It's me. You're going to be all right. My poor droids. How did we get here? You've been under the Emperor's control. You tortured Jomar and tried to kill me. No. That's not possible. I... No. I can feel the Emperor's presence. I... He hates you. The things he made me do. Come home to Tython. Master Satiu will help you. I have no right to ask you for anything, but the Council doesn't need to know about us. Please, keep our relationship to yourself. There's a war on. I don't care about your indiscretion. Thank you. I... I'm sorry for all of this. I was wrong about you. My mission wasn't a total failure. I overheard Liha delivering orders from the Emperor to a high-ranking Sith Lord. I couldn't hear details, but I know someone named Lord Fulminus went on a secret mission to the planet Vos. Lord Fulminus? The Emperor isn't taking any chances with Vos. I'll take Liha home. Thank you for saving her. Us. Master Satil, I rescued Jomar and found Liha Nerez. She's been under the Emperor's control and needs your help. They're headed for Tython now. I also learned a high-ranking Sith named Fulminus is on the planet Voss. That is disturbing news. Voss was discovered only recently. 
that society is dangerously unbalanced. The people worship an elite group of force users who rule with absolute authority. Despite our best efforts, Vasa's government rejects the Jedi Code. The Emperor has always taken a great interest in that world. I thought he sought to conquer it, but clearly he intends its destruction. Go to Vas. Find Lord Fulminus and stop his plans. This is Joe Marchul. I wanted to thank you again for saving Leha, and I appreciate you keeping our relationship to yourself. I'm helping her recover from what happened. It's slow going, but she's making progress. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. I consider you a true friend. Joe Marchul out. So, when do I get my own Padawan? Always wanted to be a teacher. It's true. I'm learning all kinds of things from you. It helps that you're an excellent student, but that's not what I mean. Here, pretend you're my Padawan. Got a hypothetical moral dilemma for you. Say you could only save the Republic or the Jedi Order. Which would you choose and why? Don't think. Answer. We're all that prevents the Sith from conquering the galaxy. Without us, there'd be no Republic. Excellent answer, my Padawan. Have a sweet flat cake. See? I'd make a nifty master. Learn from the best after all. Finally got the skinny on how we become an official Jedi twosome. Short version? Not happening. We'd only ever see each other on Tython. Senior council members would review us monthly. Make sure we stay... detached. The clincher is, only Jedi who were raised by the Order from birth get permission. I'm automatically disqualified. We can do what we want. We don't need permission. Maybe not, but we might need a good alibi someday. Master Satil, smart lady. We push this any further, it might end up like Jomar and Leha. Not gonna ruin your life, tough guy. You want out of this? Just say so. I'd rather face down the whole council than lose what we have. For a man of action, got away with words. So much for upholding the Jedi Code. Guess we're outlaws. We'll find a way to live with the guilt. Somehow. Won't be easy, but we have to try, and try, and try. Nope, still feel guilty. You'll have to try harder next time. Better get back to saving the galaxy. Don't want people to think we've gone soft. Master Jedi, I'm aware that my recent military record might raise some concerns. I want to reassure you that my squad fatality rates have not consistently been this high. I suppose that's good to hear. The first squad I commanded after making sergeant was sent to free POWs being held at a small Imperial outpost. Intel said the place would be lightly manned. Most of the Imperials wouldn't arrive for another 24 hours. Intel was wrong. I assume you got more than you bargained for. The Imperials sent their reinforcements a day early. When my squad broke into the outpost, we were outnumbered ten to one. We were outmanned and outgunned, but we achieved our objective, freed all the POWs, and came out alive. My squad's casualty rate was 97.4%, but we had no fatalities. It's impressive that anyone made it out of there with those odds. They were good soldiers, far better than any of the others I've had under my command. Our mission was accomplished without permanent loss of Republic resources. That squad was effectively trained, and as a result, we achieved victory much more efficiently. They must have been remarkable soldiers. They are. Good soldiers are a resource. Yes, their loss damages the war effort, 
but they are meant to be used. Victory for the Republic is worth any cost. Master Jedi, our downtime has had a positive impact on my battle readiness. I believe I'm 14.2% more prepared for combat now. What? What does that even mean? It's a statistical analysis of, well, I won't bore you with the details. I've had a lot of time to think. I've forgotten what that was like. Relax while you can, Sergeant. There's more fighting ahead. I'm looking forward to it. I've been thinking about my original squad. I haven't seen any of them since we liberated that POW camp. They seem to be on active duty, but I can't find any mention of commendations or recognition. They should be decorated soldiers. I'm sure you'll find something. Carson, Naja, Eckerd. That whole squad has simply vanished. They're probably just posted somewhere far from the fighting. It seems like a terrible waste of skilled personnel. They'd be most valuable to the Republic deployed on the front. This just doesn't make sense to me. Finally tracked down my old squad mates, Master Jedi. Wishing I hadn't. General Garza recruited them into the Special Forces Black Ops program. But now, they're in a detention facility on Beerun, convicted of war crimes. War crimes are a serious charge. How did your old squad go from being heroes to convicted criminals? Black Ops doesn't make heroes. It trains killers. If the right targets die, no one complains. They renamed my old squad the Surgeons, tasked them with destabilizing the Empire's command structure by removing its best leaders. But the Surgeons didn't just target Imperial commanders. They went after the officers' families. They wanted to send the enemy a message. Killing women and children is never acceptable. Good soldiers know what acceptable targets are. This wouldn't have happened on my watch. The detention center's warden says my old squad mates are serving life sentences. They're young. That's a lot of years to spend in cages. The next time I get nostalgic and curious, Master Jedi, give me a planet to invade. Old Doc's always been more of a lover than a fighter. But I had to up my game since you came around. It's not easy looking good when you're fighting next to a Jedi. But I figured out the trick. Care to clue me in before our next big battle? Let's just say I'm getting a new nickname. Dr. Knockout. Yep. Next time we're surrounded by the scum of the galaxy, they're gonna be sorry they met me. I don't believe this! We missed the party of the Millennium last night. It's all over the holonet. Music, dancing, attractive people. Oh, we could have been a part of it if we hadn't been on the wrong side of the galaxy, saving everyone's lives as usual. Two heroes of the Republic would have been colossal at that shindig. Infinite opportunities for romance. We would have had it made. Just think about how much more colossal we'll be at these parties once the Empire is defeated. We've already earned more admirers than we'll ever have time for. Anything extra is just wasteful. I'm in the prime of my life, and I'm spending it with people who enjoy running around on exploding planets. All I want is to abuse our fame just for one night. Is that so wrong? Your people speaking of the Empire sound like a distorted echo. When I was born, we thought the rest of the galaxy to be mystery and legend. We had been alone for a thousand years. What was it like? I can't even imagine. We were what you made us. In my youth, Jedi were how you threatened errant children. Obey your masters or the Jedi will obliterate you. For thousands of years, we had total control of a hundred star systems. Then the Jedi drove us to the farthest fringe of the galaxy. The Emperor had subjugated thousands of species. Every non-Force user was enslaved. They were safe and served to their own capability. This is hardly worth debating. I gain nothing from understanding how your Republic's fools view the galaxy. I am surprised that once your council finishes its brainwashing, any Jedi has a spine left to oppose the Emperor. Perhaps you are young enough to still cultivate the strength of the Sith.
If you came here to turn me to the dark side, you'll be disappointed. I came to defeat the Emperor. Turning you to the dark side is purely for my own amusement. I do not know how more to prepare you to face the Emperor. What has your training been? All I know of Jedi ways is from Revan. Surely they have changed in 300 years. How does someone become the Emperor's Wrath? There has only ever been one. My training as a Sith was not far different than Korriban today. Only my visions set me apart, made them bring me before the Emperor. In his presence, I first saw who he was and what he planned. You still chose to serve him? I chose to live, long enough to find one who could defeat him. I thought Revan and the Jedi Exile were my chance. Revan and the Jedi Exile are legends. What were they like? It should not have surprised anyone that Revan turned Sith. He knew you cannot fight the dark side without understanding it. The Exile was harder to read. Even with all she had done, she never trusted herself. With Revan, she was his student again. I liked them. I would have served them, but my vision told me they would fail. I cut down the Exile and brought Revan to the Emperor as a gift. You regret betraying them. There is room in the Force to forgive even such heinous crimes. I do not seek forgiveness. The only way to live long enough to find the Jedi who would kill the Emperor to find you was to convince him to trust me. He took my offering and gave me a place at his side. He gave me immortality. It was a gift, but not without its price. What have you got for me? <laughs> Only a few dozen senators have access to those accounts. One of them must be an Imperial spy. Until we find out who hired the bounty hunter and why, we can't be sure of anything. This casts a bad light on the entire Senate. Until we know who's responsible, I don't want this to leak out. Wow. <laughs> 